Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will create a virtual machine in VirtualBox for the installation of Windows Server 2019 operating system. After creating virtual machine, we will set up some basic things like changing the boot order and mounting the ISO image for the installation purpose. Virtual machines allows us to run an operating system just like another application on our desktop that behaves like a full separate computer. So without wasting time, let's start the process to create a new virtual machine in Oracle VM VirtualBox. First of all, you need to open VirtualBox Manager Console. Once you open VirtualBox Manager Console, then you need to click on Machine and select New. It will start a new wizard to create a new virtual machine. The first thing which we need to do is to specify the name of your virtual machine. For this demonstration, I'm going to give name Windows Server 2019. Then the next thing is you need to specify the location where you want to store your virtual machine. Next, we have a type of operating system which you want to install. Based on the name of your virtual machine, already it has a selected Microsoft Windows. But we need to change the version. So let's click on this drop down arrow and select a Windows Server 2016, 64-bit. At the time of this video recording, we don't have options to choose a Windows Server 2019 version in Oracle VM VirtualBox. And that's why we are going to select a Windows 2016 64-bit. Next, we have a memory size. For this demonstration, I'm going to give memory size 4 GB. So it will be a 4096 MB. You can set up memory size of this virtual machine as per your convenient. The next thing which we need to select is a hard disk. We are going to create a new virtual hard disk for this virtual machine. Let's click on create. It will start another result to create a new virtual hard disk. It is asking us that where you want to store this virtual hard disk. As you can see the location is already specified. Now here I am going to specify the size 127 GB. Here we have a several options to select a hard disk file type. But for our virtual box we are going to select OVDI. Here we have one more options to select storage on physical hard disk. In most of cases we are going to use dynamically allocated means it is going to increase the size as we add data under this virtual hard disk. Let's click on create to create a new virtual hard disk. Fine, we have successfully created new virtual hard disk and our virtual machine is also created successfully. Now, once we create a virtual machine, the next step is change the settings. So let's select our virtual machine and click on this settings icon. The first thing which I'm going to do here is let's click on system tab. First of all, I'm going to change the boot order. I'm going to clear the checkbox for floppy disk. And I want to set optical disk as the first boot in boot sequence. Fine. And the next one is a hard disk. I'm also going to select this checkbox because I want to install Windows Server 2019 with EFI firmware type. Fine. The next thing which I'm going to do is let's click on storage. Let's click on empty, click here and choose the location where you have stored your ISO image of Windows Server 2019. You can download the ISO image of Windows Server 2019 from Microsoft TechNet website. Link to download the ISO image is also mentioned in the description area. Let's click on OK button to save the changes which we have made in this virtual machine. And that's it. A virtual machine has been successfully created. Once we modify all the settings, it's time to start the virtual machine. So let's click on start button to start this virtual machine. Let's maximize it. And here let's press enter key to boot from a CD image. So that's it for this lab guide. In the next lab guide, we're going to see the installation of Windows Server 2019 in Oracle VM VirtualBox.